Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Europa League final preview. Yes, I'm shooting this the day before, but on Wednesday the 18th we have the first final of the season which is a little bit against the grain, the Europa League final. I actually would have uh, expected the Conference League final, but I understand it that you want to have the Europa League a little bit by itself. And then the Conference League is just as a kind of a pre-game to the uh, Champions League final, which is of course on a Sunday, although I think this scheduling we could think about it as well. Uh, the Europa League final is contested between Frankfurt, Eintracht Frankfurt and the Rangers. I decided for the first time on this channel I'm gonna wear uh, Rangers, uh, my new Rangers jersey, I absolutely love it. But uh, as you will see I have kind of split loyalties uh, there for sure. It's also the only final where I only have two jerseys from. It was a little bit hard to make this background, so I made a, all, my, all the finalists are here. There's a all Roma background here, and we have a bit Madrid here, we have a bit Liverpool here, and then uh, the other two finalists right there. So yeah, the final uh, will be played in Sevilla, beautiful, the beautiful Spanish town of Sevilla on the Guadalcavir, uh, a town that unfortunately I have not been to, but one that should be probably on anyone's uh, top list of uh, major destinations in Europe to look at. May probably is the last time it's probably uh, temperature-wise okay to visit because it can get really, really hot. After all, it's called the frying pan of, uh, of Spain. Uh, it is a hot uh, area, but it's an absolutely beautiful, stunning town. And of the three stadiums in Seville, they chose, of course, the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pizuan, the home uh, ground of FC Sevilla, which was almost the jersey I put on for this video. Uh, of course, it makes a whole lot of sense to play there because uh, FC Sevilla is at this point almost synonymous with the Europa League in a similar way as Real Madrid is synonymous with the Champions League having it won a record six times. Uh, it's a nice stadium, it's a packed stadium, it's maybe a tad small I feel especially given how many fans will be in there. I heard about at least 30,000 Frankfurt fans and almost twice as many Rangers fans descending on Seville. It will be packed and as, as far as I heard is that the Rangers fans will actually put in the Olympic Stadium which is is massive and uh, I guess the Frankfurt fans will go to the Benito Villa Marino or something like that. It is just uh, uh, the proportions, I mean we'll get to the finals in a second but just the fact that we have those two teams who have such a uh, super traveling fan base by them. Rangers very well known, Frankfurt have established this over the past years makes this for an absolutely, uh, I, I expect it's a very atmospheric and very uh, wonderful final. Uh, just from a fan point of view. I really hope uh, that both sides will keep it uh, calm, that we don't hear about any ugly happenings in town. Uh, Frankfurt fans are fortunately not known for being violent um, and I know if Rangers fans I think keep the alcohol levels at a reasonable level, which for European Cup for sure will not, I don't think it will be as well. But yeah, I could understand if most people in Seville are probably going to take a day off and travel somewhere else <laughs> on, on, on that. But just from the amount of fans that those two uh, clubs can bring to a location, whether it is, whether they have a ticket or not, always made this. As soon as I knew the semifinals, this is my dream final and I'm very, very happy to have it. It's also a final between two teams that will be seeded first in the Champions League, that have not qualified via the league for the Champions League. So there's a lot to play for. And two teams that, yes, uh, probably would not make it into, into the Champions League on a normal route. I mean, Scottish teams have not been for a while in the Champions League. And Eintracht Frankfurt were threatening to be in the Champions League last season and then threw it away uh, in the last three matches. Uh, and this season they were never really in the contention for the European spots and they all banked it on the Europa League. But during editing, I realized that I forgot to put the two teams um, in comparison to each other on the on the grander scale of things and uh, it, it's very 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 weird because you know uh, Rangers is the most decorated Scottish team I have won over 50 titles uh, I think 55 so uh, in that sense they are absolute giant of their local game and have always been a giant club 
uh, whereas Eintracht Frankfurt, while being a ginormous club in terms of membership, I think they're the eighth largest in Germany, which puts them in the top 20 worldwide because German sports clubs are absolutely huge. They've barely won any domestic titles. I mean, they have won the occasional German Cup. I think their last championship is from 59. That predates the creation of the Bundesliga in 1963. So this was when they were ranked amateurs. So in that sense, there's no comparison in the terms of pedigree between those two teams. However, on a European level, Eintracht Frankfurt has quite the pedigree, which uh, they are, after all, winners of the... UEFA Cup in 1980, uh, which is the precursor to the Europa League, um, which uh, was a very remarkable tournament uh, in the sense that of the eight uh, quarterfinalists, five were from Germany and four Germans made it to the semifinals. So it was an all German affair, probably the Bundesliga at its height, with uh, I think Eintracht Frankfurt, just let me check it. Uh, Eintracht Frankfurt beating on the way there in the semi-final uh, Bayern Munich and then Borussia Mönchengladbach in the final on the away goal rule and Bayern Munich uh, with an overtime win 5-1 uh, at home after losing the first game 2-0. So, you know, rather, rather impressive results there. The biggest European dent that Rangers made is that they won the 1972 50 years ago in Barcelona, so in Spain. So there's uh, some his history, well, hence the nice TIFO that they had at the semifinal against Leipzig. Um, they won the Cup Winners Cup uh, against Dynamo Moscow after having already twice featured before that in the Cup Winners Cup final. And then more recently, I think it was in 2008, they have been in the UEFA Cup final where they lost in Manchester against. Um, uh, Zenit St. Petersburg. So there's a sort of a Russian connection there with Rangers in many, many ways. However, the two of them have only met once on the European stage. And it's probably one of the, not many will remember it these days, but um, when you read about the history of the European Cup, they met in one of the most celebrated uh, ties ever when Rangers, as the huge favorite, met uh, as the favorite, let's put it that way, met Eintracht Frankfurt in the semi final of the 1959 1960 European Cup, where Frankfurt won the home game 6 1 and then the away game 6 3 with an aggregated score of 12 to 4. Um, where even the Rangers fans were so impressed with the, with Eintracht Frankfurt that when the final, which was played at Hampton, also supported Eintracht Frankfurt over the Real Madrid side um, that, of course, uh, played this the most brilliant final, 7-3 of Eintracht Frankfurt in 1960 in Rangers. So, uh, at least back then, so this is in the founding years of the European Cup, Eintracht Frankfurt and Rangers kind of developed a friendship. I do not know how this has continued into the modern times. But that was an, an interesting tidbit that I wanted to add because when they have met, the one time that they really have met, it was an absolute classic and a precursor to probably what is still considered the greatest European Cup final of all time. Although it was rather one-sided. In any case. <laughs> uh, let's continue with the uh, normal preview of the final. Uh, it is not a totally unexpected final. You see at the beginning of the season, right here, Frankfurt were the seventh favorite and Rangers the tenth favorite. Um, if we move forward once the, before the draw to the... Uh, uh, you know, to the knockout stage. Rangers actually fell completely off because they finished only second, were no, were no in the league. Frankfurt actually moved up on six. Once on the next round, Dortmund had been eliminated by Rangers. Rangers were back on the map in 12th, with Frankfurt then only in 11th. So you see, they are, were always kind of in contention, but never really, really the big favorites, which also makes it for a wonderful final right there and then. And now having already talked eliminate Dortmund, let's watch the pathway of these two teams into the final. Uh, Frankfurt stayed unbeaten in the Europa League for the entire season and they have beaten some big names. I mean, the group stage, you would say, was kind of a little bit up and down with two draws against Fenerbahce. Um, the, I remember the Roland Verb game at home was a rather nervy affair. Uh, but then you beat also Olympiacos relatively easily. 
Uh, but it really came into only round of 16 when they won away to Real Betis, which I didn't necessarily expect, so they already have a taste of Seville. At home they found themselves 1-0 down. Um, I think it was a 90th minute uh, goal by Real Betis and then the last minute of overtime uh, they equalized. Uh, and then came the big shining moment when they played against Barcelona, a Barcelona team that everyone saw as a huge favorite. And they uh, won, uh, no, uh, they managed to won 1-1 at home, a game they should have won. And then they had a 3-0 lead at the camp now that uh, Barca could only pull back late into a 3-2 uh, uh, in a stadium that was half filled with Frankfurt fans. So Frankfurt fans had very good experiences in Spain so far, winning both games in Spain. And then at West Ham, they won both games. It was rather comfortable in many ways um, at, you know, at West Ham. Uh, yes, uh, West Ham had more of the game, but I think that Frankfurt uh, really did the best of their chances. And then at home, as soon as uh, there was the red card for Cresswell, and then uh, made it 1-0 through Boré, it was done and dusted uh, in that sense. Rangers had a much, much longer path to the final. Much, much longer. They started in the Champions League qualifying round three, where they lost twice to Malmö. Then they get to the Europa League qualifying playoff where they beat Alashkert only 1-0 on aggregate, a team that Lusk easily disposed. So this was kind of a, what's happening with Rangers there? Uh, Rangers, of course, in, it's the 150th uh, season, so that's a big one. In the Europa League, yes, uh, the draw at Lyon was credible. Um, against Sparta Prague, they also split the points and then they made the points against Brøndby, which uh, secured them a second space a spot in the, in, in the group. But nothing where you would say that Rangers are now really uh, may, making a run to the final. Where it really kicked in for everyone is when they beat Borussia Dortmund away from home. A Dortmund team that said, we want to win the Europa League. And the Rangers went there. I think they even had a 4-1 lead and completely destroyed Dortmund. In the away leg, it could have at one point maybe swung towards Dortmund, but uh, the support carried Rangers through, which I think is the overall theme. I think their home support is the one uh, factor that really always carried Rangers forward. Uh, against Chavanas Vesta, it was a crazy first half. Should never have been 3 0 at the uh, Javanas Vesta should have gotten a few goals. However, the 3 0 was enough to see them through over Javanas Vesta. And this is another point. Um, Rangers, not only home, home, but I have, have to say for the round of 16 in the quarter, quarter final, the draw was, uh, let's say, kind to them. But you know, it's not to undo it, but uh, it, was a, it, it, it was a bit of a kind draw. At Braga, they were lucky to only lose 1-0, uh, but that kept them in contention. And then they completely dominated Braga, who just in the last minute, they, uh, should have, they should, never should have gone to overtime. Rangers were the much, much, much better team there. The home support really cared going through. It needed the overtime to get through. Against Leipzig, they kept the game tight. This was uh, the second German team. So uh, while Frankfurt fans have good experience in Spain, Rangers have very good experience with German teams. And two German teams that in this season were much better than Eintracht Frankfurt. Just to have that in mind. They lose 1-0 away to Leipzig, which probably was the correct result, although they kept the I think they were very well in the, in the game. But I, I was afraid that... This is a result that will open uh, them up in the return leg and Leipzig is going to take advantage of it. Fortunately for them, Leipzig was a little bit on a downturn already. And they had a tunnel lead. Leipzig then was really pressing, uh, could have made an e e equal. And just in this pressure phase, uh, Rangers prevailed and made it 3-1. Uh, and went into the final. Uh, not only to their own joy, but to the joy of most German fans, one has to say. So yeah, a really, really interesting uh, path to, to the final. As I said, Rangers uh, a huge Euro, Euro, Euro European season, putting my format for uh, making this run a little bit to the test uh, 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 along the way. Uh, the final will be refereed by Slavko Vincic, a Slovenian referee who, uh, you know, has been a, a known quantity as of late. I think he also, we, we with the Euros, uh, go on his Wikipedia page, he, there's some um, juicy 
background on him as well although he has completely freed from any wrongdoing so i don't want to implicate this now but you can check on slavko uh, it's, it, it, it's a bit of a weird story right there but uh he escaped that one uh if we now go forwards to the final um there are two injuries to both squads frankfurt is missing martin hinteregger their you know iconic central defender from austria of course um who is kind of this uh, absolute fan fav f favorite and always keeps it tight at the, at the back without being a fast player, which is seemingly an Austrian specialty as of late. Um, whereas uh, Mar Morelos is a huge miss for Rangers up front. Uh, also, I think Ione Haji um, is, will be missed as well. Now, um, one thing from an Austrian perspective, I said I'm a little bit split on my loyalties. Normally, I would root against the German team, so Rangers by default. Um, however, this is, a this is a German team that not only, you know, Martin Hintig, okay, I don't care about me, but uh, Oliver Glasner is a former last coach that I wish only the very, very, very best. And I would be so happy if we could lift that, uh, that trophy to kind of show, yeah, you can make it, you can build up Lask, you can play from the second league in Austria, you can make it within, um, I think, six or seven years, you can make it to winning a European trophy. So I, and of course, he's also from uh, the area around here. So I would really be happy for him. He will also be the first Austrian coach since Ernst Happel in 1983, the European Cup, to win a European trophy. Now, as for the jersey matchup, I was actually a little bit not sure. I mean, sure, Frankfurt is the home team. They will play in all black. I think Rangers should be fine to play in the blue uh, kits. Of course, they cannot play with black socks, so I would imagine either they play in all blue or with the white pants and then blue socks up there so uh, that's how I would expect it however there's also a purple kit for Rangers in there but I really hope that UEFA say okay if Frankfurt play in all black let's have Rangers play in there uh, because it's a lightish blue I think it would make for a nice uh, color match up in, in in a way so I really hope they play this way however we, we, we're gonna see tomorrow and finally who is the favorite well my model says 50-50 Teeny tiny chance, teeny tiny advantage to Frankfurt is 50.4% uh, Frankfurt. So Frankfurt is slightly, slightly better team, but it's a really hard final to call. The book is actually have Frankfurt a little bit slightly more of a fav fav favorite in there. But as, as I say, for me, uh, it is Frankfurt has a really good time in Spain. Uh, Rangers had a really good time against German teams. Um, I think it's the easiest German team uh, for Rangers to play, but uh, it's a German team that is unbeaten in a competition. And on top of that, have put all the eggs in that one basket. They have, the last few weeks, well, it was all about the Europa League. So I think it will be very, I'm not sure if it will be a good final. It could be a good final. Um, especially if, you know, Frankfurt really show up with Kamada and Bore. And if Rangers also uh, get, 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 get going with the fighting spirit, I think it could be interesting. Frank, Frankfurt is not your typical German team. They have some nice patterns of play in there as well. So I'm really looking forward to this on many, many, many levels. Uh, it is a little bit weird too that one of these will be in pot one in the Champions League group stage next season. But on the other side, I think that's the beauty of it. Yes, UEFA, you did this right. Uh, I think it will be, it will be great. Whoever wins it will be a surprise winner. And that makes it wonderful. So yeah. Who do you think will win this final? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.